Hey folks, hope you're doing well today. I'm uh, going to do a little mail day for you. I'm trying to be a little quiet because it's early in the morning before I'm, I'm starting work and my family's all asleep, so I don't want to wake everybody up. <clears throat> um, I was waiting. I have a few packages that were supposed to be here um, as far back as like last Saturday, uh, but they're, they keep getting delayed. So I have three or four things that are coming in. One of them's a, a nice PC pickup for me. Um, and then I have another nice card and a nice lot. And I think a couple other little lots that I purchased, but things are taking forever in the mail right now. Um, but I thought, well, what the heck, I'll go ahead and show off what I've got. So first I picked up, um, ah, what did I get this with? I'll try to remember where I got things from and how much I paid, but some of the stuff I, I bought like three weeks ago and it got to me almost two weeks ago. Um, okay. So from a guy on blue out forums, and this is going to be, some of this is a quick flip. Some of this is to keep for a little while. Um, I got this Austin Riley lot for $75 and it includes the 2019 Tops Update Rookie SP in a 10, the Tops Update Vintage in a 9, an X Fractor in a 10, this is numbered out of 199, and a Mother's Day Pink PSA 9. Got all that for $75. I thought that was a good deal. He reached out to me um, and asked if I wanted this for $15 and explained that it's a case hit, which I knew but it's from 2019 Stadium Club. It is a Ken Griffey Jr. Gold Minted. For $15, I, I couldn't turn that down. I love Stadium Club's uh, photography. I probably won't keep this, to be honest, uh, just because it's a parallel that I'm, I'm not particularly interested in, but uh, I do love the photography of Stadium Club, so that's nice. From another guy on Blowout, I picked up, let me see here, uh, what did I get, for 35 no, I'm sorry, for $100, uh, the Dermo lot was $35, I got an autograph, several chrome base cards, base chrome cards, and purple shimmer, and that was $35, and then for 65 I think, I got this Mega, Marte, and Rodriguez. I haven't looked at any other, any uh, under a loop, but just from the naked eye, they look pretty good. Uh, picked this up actually right before the preseason started, or as it was starting. Uh, Harry Giles, who's sort of a perennial talk about a guy, one that's uh, was highly touted when he came up in a few years ago, but uh, hasn't really achieved what people thought he would. So every every basketball season, people are like, well, maybe this is Harry Giles' you know, time to shine. So I was like, eh, this was $30. I went ahead and picked it up. It's, it's an orange out of 199 out of 2017-18 Optic. So I went to a card show at my LCS this week, or last weekend, I'm sorry. Um, made some good purchases there. The first one, hold that one, hold this one off. Got a Seku and a Rui. These are out of the NBA Hoops Premium Pulsar sets. They were $8 a piece. I thought those were a pretty good price. Got this for $8. The guy had several of these pinks. This was the best conditioned one, so I, I grabbed it. These were half off, so I got... I don't know why this is a different price from this. I guess he priced it earlier in the year, maybe. I don't know, but got three... Ronnie Mauricio's. I got this Threads Trey Young Rookie for five dollars, and it's super clean. I've looked it under a loop, and it's it's going to go off to PSA. But for five dollars for a Trey Young Rookie, heck yeah. Tom Brady out of 2019 Prism for a dollar fifty, and this is one. This is not a card show pickup. I'll hold off for a second on this. This one. Um, I've had a few of his Prism PSA 10s. I've sold them all off. This Luka Doncic. Uh, this was in a case, and most of the stuff was priced, but there were a few cards that weren't. This was one of them, and I asked the guy how much it was, and he said, oh, crap, let me 
let me look up eBay. <laughs> so he looked it up, and I don't know what his search was or how he searched it, but he said, you're telling me none of these have sold since October? And he, which I knew had to be wrong, but I, I wasn't going to butt in. I didn't know. Um, but he said, well, they were going for 80 in October. How about 100? I didn't know if that was a good price or not. It sounded like a good price. So I said, yeah, okay, I'll take 100. I'll take it for 100. So I uh, got this, and I went out. And when I got out to my car after the show, I looked it up, and they're selling for like 120 to 150. Um, I don't know that it, it'll, it'll get a 10. It's super sharp and actually pretty well centered uh, for Donner's basketball, but there's like a gold flake right here that you can't can't really see. I don't know if I couldn't get that on camera. Um, so I'm expecting a nine, but that's fine because this is one that I just want to keep for myself. I want to have a Luca rookie uh, in my collection, so I'll keep that for myself. This card I got, I ordered on eBay a few weeks ago. It took forever to get here. Uh, this is a Target Red Randy Rosarena. Picked that up for. Uh, I did a, an offer. I think it was sixty or seventy. I don't remember. Over overpaid probably, but it was. I've seen very few of the Target Red or Rosarenas. Um, maybe just a couple. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna go pick it up just in case. This is a rookie set that I got from Tops Online, Tops.com. Uh, don't even remember who all's in here. Probably the big five. Kyle Lewis, Rosarena, Bichette. Um, I'm not going to open it up. I'm not going to mess with it right now. This is a lot that came off of... I guess this came off Blowout. I'm not really sure. And this might be one lot. It might be two. I don't know. But I got a Robert uh, Bichette. Oh, this came off Blowout. It was $35. I remember that. Kopech, Alvarez, a Grisham Pink. Rosarena and Franco, and then Grisham, Robert, and Trout. And I think those were 35 or 40. 35 or 40. Uh, this came off of, I guess, Blowout. I don't know. I don't remember. I have no idea what is in here. Which can be a good thing, it can be a bad thing. All right, don't know how much this was. Riley, Robert, uh, Jalen Hurts. Well, I've had this stack sitting here. I've had this little group of cards sitting here for about two weeks. So I guess this was before he made his debut, but Jalen Hurts. So good pickup on my part, I guess. Keston Hura, uh, first Bowman Chrome. Keston Hura, um, I do remember this a lot now. This a couple of weeks ago. This was $30. Uh, Keston here, uh, a Walgreens Yellow, a Walker Bueller, First Woman Chrome, and another Hira. So $30 for that. There is a store near me. It is a collectible store. Now, it used to be, from my understanding, a furniture outlet or something. Uh, but now it is a place for all types of collectibles. Antiques. I mean, to go, it has Japanese, uh, pieces of Japanese, uh, military memorabilia from 1500 years ago it has first edition books high-end stuff comic books um cards toys it's a big space it has some furniture um and they tend to be a little high on the cars and they do take consignments they have a, a really nice mahomes there i might actually go back and get if it's still there after christmas um but i found this about a week two weekends ago it's this josh allen optic Pretty well centered for the optics for $30. I was like, yeah, yeah, okay. And he's he's having a pretty good season. He, I think he tends to have good first halves and then sort of uh, regresses from there. But for $30, and I think now this is probably like a $50 card just a couple of weekends later. But nice card, nice pickup. It's the only Josh Allen I have, only rookie. And this last lot came from Blowout, uh, I think. It was 167 and I really wish I had the PC card to show you because I'm excited to get that. It's supposed to be here, like I said, I think Saturday, and then it said arriving late, and it just still still shows in transit like about three other packages I have. But here I got 13 Bichette rookies. I haven't looked at any of these. The Bichette, which is a pretty well centered for this silver pack. I got some Glaber Torres US 200s. 
These are cheap right now, these Torres rookies. I'm hoping he has a good season. A couple of Robert rookies to include a chrome or a few, I guess. And that one. A Topps Tatis, which this is actually a really sharp card. I haven't looped it. And that's there's a little piece of paper here inside the bag, inside the sleeve, but it's a really sharp card. Uh, this Tatis and this one. And I think all that was like 160. But the two Tatis is actually the one of these Tatises, if they grade out as a 10, that'll pay for the lot uh, when when baseball starts back up. But oh, another thing I'll show here is I was at my LCS to drop off. They had GSA come by for an autograph authentication thing yesterday, and uh, it passed. But while I was there dropping it off, I they had a couple of boxes of the Topps Allen Ginter Chrome. Uh, for one ten a piece, which seemed like a really good price for me, so I purchased those. Nothing earth shattering, but I thought I'd go ahead and show you what I got. Uh, the hits out of it. Got a mini Lizardo rookie, mini Soto, mini or uh, regular Acuna, regular Soto, Babe Ruth. I actually almost didn't put this in this little stack to show, but I thought hey, you know what, the best baseball player in history probably uh, deserves to be in the show off. So in the showcase. So Jordan Alvarez. If I'm showing Jordan Alvarez. I should show Babe Ruth. Gavin Lux, rookie. Brendan McKay, there's a Tatis refractor. Aquino refractor. Nico Horner refractor. Roger Clemens, green out of 99. A Bregman, green out of 99. Barry Larkin. This is the probably the best one out of the two boxes. I wish I'd gotten an autograph. I love pulling autographs, but wasn't counting on it, and nor did I get it. But uh, Derek Jeter out of 99. A Lucas Giolito out of one, or I'm sorry, out of 50. And I saw this and thought, immediately thought Wander Franco. And even when I was, and I saw the Royals on his shirt, I for some reason thought Rays. Uh, and I was like, ooh, Wander Franco, why is he in this product? That's awesome. And, uh, oh, oh, look how Franco, okay. Yeah, out of 25, but okay. But there it is. It was a fun little break. I opened it. We opened the boxes, my wife and I at the kitchen table. So we had a good time. Anyways, if you had a favorite from that, uh, a little show and tell from the mail let me know and have oof, i'm hoping that stuff gets here in the next few days so maybe i can do a little show show and tell before uh christmas next week but if not have a great weekend i'll see you sometime in the early part of next week i'll do something and till then bye